All right, guys, um, just want to show you guys my Samsung watch and how it catches AFib on here, demo it. And unfortunately, I do have AFib right now. So one thing I always notice, uh, every, I think, 10 minutes, it'll actually set to check my heart rate here. Um, I You can set it to every, like, second or every minute, but you can see how fast it checked it. Usually it's slower than than this as far as checking. You can see it's it's going pretty fast. And also my heart rate's never 78. My average heart rate um, when I'm resting is in the 50s and sometimes low 60s. So this I already know I got AFib, but I just want to demo it. And this one looks like it's going to pick up a little slower. So this is usually the real time. It picks up the heart rate when I do it manually here. And it picks it up through a little light on the back of the watch. You'll see a green light if you have one of these or if you notice one of these. And it'll shoot a, like a laser beam or something in your wrist and it'll pick up your heart rate 88 so that just tells me i know i'm 100 percent afib but i just want to demonstrate what it is it even says right here it's higher than average okay so to test for afib you can you can either scroll to it to this app right here the little swiggly which is a heart rate and then it says make sure it's snug I'm getting an email sorry oops let's do it again so hit okay now you gotta put your finger here lightly and you don't wanna touch your finger to your uh, body. You want it separate. And you can see how jumpy it is. So it's taking EKG, ECG. And you can see how jumpy everything is. Ooh, there's a big jump on the heart rate right there. So you can tell it's not normal. Look at the, the gaps. They're all like with short, fast, everything. So um, not great. This is a great morning anyways. It takes about 30 seconds, you can see. And there you go. Sadly, I have AFib right now. And it sends the results to your phone. It never looks for signs of a heart attack. This lets you know. And if you think you're sick, so this, one thing you have to remember is that um, this is a tool. And it might not be 100% accurate. So even if it shows AFib, it might not be AFib. It might be something else. So go to your doctor. It's important to see your doctor, okay? You don't um don't guess everything because if you guess everything you know <laughs> it could be an issue and you don't want that issue Alrighty, so uh, this was actually a, a recording i did a little bit later and i finally got the sinus rhythm after taking a hot shower but what you can see here is that it'll constantly check your heart rhythm down here on the bottom it says irregular heart notification uh, when you're sleeping this is a great time it'll catch it i'll show you in a second but if i go to view history I get sorted by different things. Um, sometimes you get this inconclusive that it doesn't get it, it doesn't read it properly or it thinks it's right. So then you can see it's pretty crazy, but uh, it couldn't classify it. So I think if it's too fast, it won't pick it up. If it's too slow, it won't pick it up. It'll say inconclusive. If it's a bad reading, it'll tell you it's a bad reading. So this is uh, this one right here is one I had inconclusive earlier, so I knew something was coming up. But this is the one I just recorded. You saw see that it's pretty erratic my average heartbeat was 112 beats per minute and you can see everything is pretty wacky at this point you can tap the share report you could print it you can email it to your doctor whatever you want to do so that's pretty cool going back um, it traces back of all the issues I've had and you could filter it so this is all so it's going to show everything from this date back I could pick sinus rhythms which is when I'm normal or good I also can pick my AFib moments as well, the inconclusives, and then the poor recordings might be the finger, uh, bad finger posture or touch or something like that. So that's where you can do that. Let me show you the irregular heart rhythms right here. And so this is when I'm sleeping. Most of the time it'll catch these because you have to be basically still. And every 10 minutes it'll look at your heart rate. And if it sees it for more than 30 minutes, it'll let you know. So here's an example here, uh, March 19th. And it can pick it up. And you can see the, the intervals right here. And actually, if you open up the, the minute intervals, you can see your or my heart rate uh, in that time range. You can see it's crazy. It goes from 40 to 100 something. I have a crazy range uh, here. So it's just weird. But anyways, that's how you can see your regular heart rhythm. So it's a pretty good tool. Um, and you can share this with your doctor, of course. 
And then I use this uh, pulse oximeter if I don't have it with me, my watch, or I don't want to spend less time. So I just want to demo it real quick. I've demoed it before, and you can see it has a little, well, I don't know why it's flat, which is weird, but it has a little heart rate thing. So I usually pop this on real quick, so that way I can kind of get a live feedback of my, my heart rate. So if I want to do like a Vasalva maneuver and want to hunker down, I could see if that made a change. I've also noticed if I drink something and I gulped it, uh, this has changed my heart rate. So this is kind of like quicker than a watch. You can see with the watch, I'd have to have two two fingers on there. And then either it's going to be a second, a snapshot, which is the heart rate, or it's going to be 30 seconds for me to check for AFib. And that's not going to show my constant heart rate, or, but it will show a graph here. So uh, I use both of these tools, okay? So uh, Sally's AFib, I'm going to have to try to see if I can figure it out. I'm going to try to take a hot shower, see if I can knock it out. Um, and go from there. So thanks for watching. I wanted to demo this. Appreciate it.